I'm Amy Chrisley, your director. So we're gonna talk about E key six, getting organized, because you know, a cluttered mind does nothing. So you can get really cluttered sometimes in your Mary Kay business. So we wanna start you out organized. You'll be so happy and so excited. And getting all of this together means that you're gonna get your Mary Kay checkbook cover. Is this all so cute? It's so darling. It's quilted. It says Mary Kay on it. And then on the inside, you have all the space for your Mary Kay checkbook, okay? So, so cute. I love it. So I'm gonna walk you through a couple really important things. Logging into your Mary Kay In Touch um, page is where you're gonna order your business cards. Getting your Mary Kay business cards is so important to do right away. So that when people say, do you have a business card? You can say, mm, yes, absolutely, here it is. Makes you feel so much more professional. And Mary Kay's business cards are so cute. They're so professional, so well put together, and you get to choose which images you wanna put on them. So go to your Mary Kay In Touch page to MK Connections and order your business cards. There's all kinds of kits, and you know really the basic starter kit is perfectly fine. You can order your reorder labels, you can order your little stamper to stamp the back of your lookbooks. It's all together right there. Such a great price put together for you. The other thing, the second thing, is going to your bank and getting a Mary Kay checking account. Now, let me just say this. There's no need to get a business account. Just get a regular personal checking account. You'll pay a lot more if you open up a business account. So just get a personal checking account and put on it. You could put cosmetic account underneath your name or you could put pink account underneath your name. Just get a personal account so that you're not paying anything extra for that account. It'll be fine that way. And then you're not paying. So your name, cosmetic account, or pink account, however you want to set it up. That's the second thing that's important. And the reason why we suggest that is you want to keep your money separate for tax reasons. Also, so that you know what is your Mary Kay money and what is your money that is designated that you've already been making in your other account. We want to pull that Mary Kay money into its very own account so that you can manage it well. Because being a new business owner and a smart businesswoman, you want to manage your money. So getting your Mary Kay checking account is the second one. So you have your checkbook ready, right? Um, so the next thing is we want to have you ready and organized when you go to your appointments. So having a mobile office so that when you individually close with your clients, you are very professional, very organized, and everything is in one place so that you're not scattered and so that you don't look like your hair is on fire and that you're running from table to table, couch to table, your purse, trying to find all of your things. So we want you to be set up, organized, professional. So get some sort of tote, some sort of large briefcase that everything can fit in, and then we're going to want to set things up appropriately. So you can earn this, right, the money bag from me, um, or you can get any type of other money bag, but having a money bag for your, your checks and your cash to go in as you are selling, and then having an individual calculator. And the reason why I say get a different calculator than your phone is because when you have your phone, texts go off and your Voxers go off. You just need a separate calculator. Notice mine are really big numbers, right? Because, yeah, the eyes. So get a calculator that works for you. Mine is very simple, it's easy, and the numbers are large. So get a calculator. And then you just put it inside your money bag. And then I have a couple pins inside the money bag. So calculator inside your money bag. Then we want to make sure that you have your date book, your Mary Kay date book. Now my date book is big, but I think this has something to do with my eyes. But you can use your Mary Kay date book. You can use whatever date planner you're using for your Mary Kay business. Your date book goes in your mobile office. Date book, okay? The next thing is we want to have um, extras of everything. So having a some sort of envelope or you can have um, a zipper um, folder, however you want to organize it, but you want to have extras when you go to your appointments. So I have extras 
of the sales tickets. So these sales tickets, um, you record everything, whether you take a visa um, or whether you take a check, whether they pay you cash, anytime there's any type of transaction for product, it goes on these. These are your sales tickets regardless of how they pay. So I have extras of these in here. I have extras of my business card. So these are my business cards and I have extras of those because you don't want someone saying, do you have a business card? And then you're thinking, where are my business cards? Are they in my purse? Are they in my business? Is, are they in my, in my business mobile bag? Are they in my inventory bag? Are they in my kit? Believe me, how would I know this? Because I've looked like my hair was on fire um, a lot, a million times. So I'm helping you out here. So extra business cards. And then I have extra pens in here too. Mm, I know. Yes, yes, prepared. I have extra profile cards. So these are the cards that your customers fill out your clients when they come to do their very first appointments. So I have extras of those in case someone comes that wasn't expected. Then you don't ever think, oh, because we're decreasing stress, right? We don't want to have any extra stress. Extra lookbooks, so extra lookbooks for whatever um, season the lookbook is in, you want extras of those. And then we want extra paper agreements. So paper agreements are on um, section two and they are, helpful when you have someone that wants to do the business and for whatever reason you can't connect to the internet to go on your phone and immediately sign them up to order their kit so they can fill out their information and you have all their information right here on a paper agreement so I just always carry them so that they can fill out the information that is required for them to order a kit or you can send them the link but this is just helpful to have as extra so this is your extra envelope okay and then also I have an extra envelope. This is where all of your filled out paperwork goes. So the profile after they have filled it out and you're cleaning up after your class is over, their profiles filled out are gonna go in here. When they've done your referral sheet, the referral sheets they filled out are all gonna go in here. So anything that has happened during the class that you're gonna take home is all gonna go in your empty extra folder so that you don't have paperwork all over the place. I used to get in my car and I would have referral sheets in like five different places and they'd be all wrinkled up when I'd get home or wet from the washcloths. It was bad, it was so bad. I'm so saving you. So, or I'd get home and I'd think, where did her profile go? Like seriously, I would lose profiles from their house to my house. I wouldn't know where they went. I'd have no idea and never find them. I don't know where they ever went. So. You just have an extra envelope. Everything goes in there when you're picking up the table, they all go in the extra envelope. It's all together. They, they think you're so professional. I know, right? Then you have your binder that has all your paperwork in it. So this is where all of your originals go. Everything, all your paperwork is going to be at the end of this video attached. So these are all the masters. So if you're like that night, you realize, oh my goodness, I'm out of the referral sheet. You don't have to go to your computer and print it and then go to Office Depot. You've got all the originals. You can just run by real quick and just run off from the original if you need to. So here's the agendas. Just run off one agenda so that you have the brightening test panel agenda, one of the color test panel agenda. So if you ever like lose your mind and you can't remember what you're supposed to be doing next on the product, you've got an agenda to follow. And then here's the beauty of friendship, how you do your referrals with the survey at the bottom. And then here is a sheet protector with the build -a bag These are the sets, right? There's a whole bunch of color copies of that. You know, I suggest doing color copies because they're just prettier. So send them to Office Depot. You have a discard, a discard discount card that you can run off from InTouch that gives you a great discount. And then these are your half back coupons. Just again, run them at Office Depot and then I cut them myself at Office Depot. So it's so inexpensive. This is a picture of the kit so that if somebody says, what's in that kit? You have a picture of it right there and then more paper agreements. And then this is the um, Steps to Success career brochure. You have one of them in your kit and you can order more of them on section two um, under um, team building. So that's extra in there. I just have extras of them in that page protector. And then again, look, I have extra sales tickets, profiles, and lookbooks. So everything has some extras. And then at the very front of this book, 
I have an extra lookbook. I have an extra um, starter kit flyer that's been laminated. And I have an extra build a bag because when you start to close people individually, every single time someone will forget to bring their build a bag sheet with them. And I have it right here so that I can hand it to them and they can look at the sheet again when they decide what to purchase. So that way you're all organized and ready. And when you sit down to go through everything, your bag is all together. You've got your calculator to add up their sales. And then let's quickly talk about organizing all of your trays. You get a gallon size Ziploc baggie. You take your tray that's in your kit that has the mirror. So you put the mirror in, set it down. And I think we talked about this quickly in putting your kit together, but we'll go through it again. You've got your lookbook, you've got your profile, you've got your plastic tray, and then go ahead and put in a disposable facial cloth that was in your kit. I go ahead and put the mascara wand inside the disposable cloth so your cotton balls don't get fuzzy on them. Then one regular cloth so that when you're doing microderm, if it's a facial you're doing microderm at, you've got a, a cloth for microderm, two cotton balls, a headband of whatever choice you want, um, a sponge tip applicator, which is in your kit, a ink pen, however, whatever kind of ink pen, and then your cosmetic Q-tips. So you've got everything that you need already pre-packed in your Ziploc bag for your four trays that are in your kit. And all of this goes into your mobile office. So, you know, a lot of times also you can either put your um, tray bags or four tray bags in your mobile office if your regular kit is full or you can put all four trays in your kit, your Mary Kay kit. It just depends. Sometimes I put all four of them in there and then if I have eight, um, you can order more trays and put some of the trays in your mobile office. So there you go. Get ready, get organized, and I'll be sending you a checkbook cover. Have a great day.